Hey guys, so today I'm back with a little bit of a home renovation um, slash home tour kind of update. If you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know that um, when we lived in our old house, I actually did quite a few of these videos when we redid the kitchen and the bathrooms, our bedroom and things like that, and you guys seem to really like them. So I thought I would show you a little bit of a before and after of our most recent kind of home update, which has been to renovate two of the bathrooms in our house. So um, it's actually been quite a long process. If you follow me on Instagram stories or um, throughout Vlogmas on my vlog channel, you might have seen a little bit of um, sneak peek into the bathrooms and everything that was like going on in the bathrooms. So I thought I would show you the finished kind of thing. If you haven't seen those already, you can just watch this and see the before and the after straight away. Um, but it's been about three months to redo them for various different reasons. We had a few of the workmen were ill and things like that. So it, it took a little bit longer than we wanted to, but I'm so, so happy with the results. Um, as you'll see in the before kind of video clips, the bathrooms were actually really nice already. The main reason we wanted to redo them was to put showers in them. Um, they're guest bathrooms and they only had baths. Um, and when you go and stay at someone's house, in my opinion anyway, you kind of want to have a shower, not a bath. Um, so we wanted to put showers in them. We also wanted to tile the floors instead of having carpet on the floors. Um, and one bathroom, especially the carpet was like very old and kind of marked and stuff as well. So we just really wanted to update them, modernize them. And I'm really, really happy with the results, especially of the first one you're going to see. I'm so in love with that room. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, and yeah, I was really happy with how they turned out. Like I said, it's been a long process, so it was well worth it in the end. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to get into the before and after footage, and I hope you guys like them. So this is a little look at the bathroom before we do anything to it. As you can see, we've got some floral grey wallpaper. Um, the general layout is staying the same, but the decor is changing dramatically in here got these beige tiles, there is also a giant mirror um, with me, hello. Um, this mirror I actually like, I like the fact that there is a big mirror in here because it really kind of gives you depth to the room, it widens it, um, but it's actually, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but it's actually like a very, there you go, so it's a very old like dirty looking mirror that um, yeah we're going to replace. Got a towel rail, some lovely green carpet, um, so yeah. That is what it currently looks like in this bathroom and you'll see what we're going to do. Are you excited Squidge? No, probably not. So if I open the door now, you guys can see the finished bathroom number one. I'm going to get as far back as I can to show you guys um, the kind of overall vibe in here. And I absolutely love this bathroom. I had such a kind of vision for what I wanted it to look like and it is completely how I wanted it. So starting off with the floor, these are actually tiles. They are kind of wood effect tiles. They're from Topps Tiles. All of the tiles actually that we've used in um, both of the bathrooms are from Topps Tiles. And I really love these. They turned out even nicer than I thought they would. Sorry if it's a bit echoey, it's obviously a bathroom. So the, um, <laughs> well, when it had carpet, it wasn't so echoey, but now it is. Um, so yeah, this, these are the kind of tile that we went for on the floor. Again, I just love this kind of parquet, like herringbone kind of vibe. Absolutely love them. And I'll link everything below. It's not sponsored by Top Styles or anything and we paid for them and stuff, but in case you guys want to know if you're interested in decorating stuff. Um, and then there's a radiator here, which this wasn't here before. This is actually new. I'm going to move the towels to show you. All of the um, kind of hardware in here, all the, it's not sanitary wear because that's the, the sink and the toilet are actually still the same. The bath is new, but all of the metalware is from a brand called Arcade, and it's nickel rather than chrome, so it's slightly kind of yellowy, like more kind of dull tone, which I really, really like. So it's like an old-fashioned style radiator. The towels that are on here, as you can tell, probably tell, they've never been used. These are actually from HomeSense I picked up last week. And then I have these two mirrors on the wall. You can see <laughs> me here with the baby in a sling. <laughs> She's fast asleep. If you hear any heavy breathing, you will know what it is. It's her, not me, <laughs> snuffling away. Um, and the mirrors are actually from a wholesale um, company called Coach House that my friend has an account with and she got them for us. So I uh, really like those. You can get similar things in HomeSense as well. Originally there was a massive mirror on this wall and I actually really liked the effect that it gave because it is quite a narrow room. As you guys can see, 
it's fairly narrow so we wanted to kind of add that depth so we've got those mirrors there and then on this wall we have this mirror this one again was from home sense just really kind of plain just all kind of mirrored edging and everything the light fittings um, are nickel light fittings they were from what's it called jim lawrence <laughs> website which i'm kind of happy with them i don't know how I don't know, I like them, but I'm not like as happy as I thought I would be with those. Um, and the colour on the walls, in case you're wondering, is from Faro and Ball. It's a colour called Hague Blue. And in some lights it looks like almost like a navy, and then in other lights it looks very green. Um, I think it looks quite green in this room. As I said before, the tiles um, that we've used around the sink and on the walls um, for the bath as well are also from Top Styles. These are like a marble, beveled, kind of metro tile metro style tile um and the sink and the toilet we actually kept the same because they kind of go with the vibes a little bit like art decoy um again the taps are from arcade i love them and yeah there's the toilet the toilet roll holder as well if you guys <laughs> are interested we actually need some stuff for this wall we're kind of undecided about what we're going to put on this wall yet but it is quite um, we need like a picture or something because it is quite bare at the moment. And the bath is actually a really beautiful double-ended bath from Heritage, which is actually the brand that we got pretty much all of the stuff for the other bathroom from, um, which I'll show you in a minute. But this is so beautiful because it's a double-ended bath, but it's also very kind of Art Deco style. I really, really love it. Um, again, this tap, it looks extreme because there's actually a shower here and it looks like you would seriously nail your leg on this tap, but it actually moves to the side so that you can move it if you're having a shower rather than a bath. Absolutely love that and I love how this has turned out with the tiles and everything. Um, the blind we actually got made when the previous bathroom was kind of still gonna be, the lighting is going a bit crazy, but um, we actually kept the same blind. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that or if I'm gonna get rid of it over time. I kind of like it, I think it kind of goes. And then we have the big kind of rainfall shower here and this really simple um, shower fitting, which I really like, and the shower screen, obviously. And as you can see, I've got all fresh products in here. These are basically like all of the fresh products I own go in this bathroom, because um, I think they go quite well with the vibe as well. So yeah, this is finished bathroom number one. It is my absolute dream bathroom. I think it's gonna be my new place to have a bath, even though it's not actually our, we have an ensuite in our room. This is like the guest room bathroom but I want to use it all the time because I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous, I'm so, so happy with it. So that is bathroom number one. So this is the bathroom. Before we do anything to it, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like before. As you can see, black and white. I do actually love this wallpaper and it matches the curtains next door, but sadly it's not in a very good nick. There's lots of holes in it and marks on it and stuff, um, which you won't be able to see. Um, obviously from this perspective, but um, we tried to find the same one, we couldn't find it. The layout's gonna be changing a little bit, so yeah, I can't wait for that to happen, and there's gonna be a shower, which is gonna be exciting, and this is the very old stained carpet, so a little bit of a sneak peek of what's happening in here. Um, and then, yeah, got the toilet down there, and this funny towel rail radiator situation. Um, so yeah, that is a little look at before. And then the other bathroom, which was previously the black and white bathroom, as you can tell, still very much is black and white, but a little bit different. It no longer has the wallpaper. Um, we have this wall here is solely um, marble tiles because we've actually put a shower in. So we've moved the bath back, put the shower in here. And as you can see, move the sink to where the other end of the bath was previously. Still got the same light fittings and the same mirror. And a very similar style sink, but a new one because the other one was really discolored. Um, as you can see, I've put every single Jo Malone product that I own in this bathroom. Um, and I think it really goes well with the aesthetic. That's why I've kind of like filled it with my Jo Malone stuff. Um, so yeah, this is the shower. Um, and it also actually backs onto this door, which is um, storage, there's a boiler in there, I'm not going to show you in there because it's kind of ugly. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's a shower there which we didn't have a shower before, bath screen, all of the um, hardware and kind of sanitary wear in this bathroom is from Heritage, which is a brand that we use for our bathrooms in our old house as well. Um, and we really just, the quality of them, their stuff is amazing and we're really happy with them. So we use them again for this bathroom, it's all chrome. Um, the other bathroom is nickel, this is chrome, so you can see this is slightly different, this is a lot brighter, more of like a like bright silver as opposed to slightly discoloured yellowy tone, um, which I really like, I think it goes really well with this 
colorway for this bathroom. As you can tell, we've got the double-ended bath as well. Very, very similar like side panel to the bath. Um, and the sink I absolutely love. So, so nice. We've got the black towels, which were in here before. And then the floor is like a distressed fake wood effect tile. This was the one thing about this bathroom that I was unsure about, and I'm sure a lot of you won't like this, because it's a very kind of love-hate. I'm gonna go back slightly so you guys can see a bit better. It's definitely like a love-hate thing. My mum is obsessed with it, she absolutely loves it. And Mike really likes it too. I was quite unsure, it's one of those things that I loved when I picked it out, and then once it went on the floor, I was like, oh no, is it a bit too modern kind of vibe? Because it's actually a porcelain tile, it's not wood, but. Um, yeah, so that is the floor and then we have these two pictures on the wall that are Mike's prints that he bought when we went to Brighton. If you guys saw that vlog, you might remember these. This one is inspired by Ghostbusters, this one is inspired by E.T. Um, <laughs> our house is very old and quite traditional so we've kind of like made them fit with the old fashioned frames but they are quite um, modern prints. Mike loves them. I actually love them. I think they go, they do go with the bathroom, but um, yeah, they're definitely Mike's, Mike's choice. Um, and then we have the toilet, which again is heritage, black toilet seat, because no kind of wood effect really went in here. Um, we have the black towels. Our towels are actually from Christy, which is um, a brand that I've worked with a couple of times last year, and I love this. Their bed sheets are amazing. Again, not sponsored by Christie, but um, if you're looking for towels, they're really good. Um, and then the radiator is similar to the one in the other room. If I move the towels, you'll be able to see. I just really love the old-fashioned kind of radiator towel rails um, like these. They're like my favourite things in bathrooms. Um, as you can see, have a black dressing gown as well. And that is it for bathroom number two. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. It's very clean. It feels much bigger than it did before. Um, and it's definitely like, it's obviously a very similar layout and everything. It's not as big a change as the other bathroom, but I just really, really love it. And it's definitely kind of modernized the bathrooms a little bit. So yeah, love it. So that is it for my kind of home renovation update video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite room, which one you prefer. Mine is definitely the green one. It's like, I just, oh, it's my dream bathroom. I absolutely love it. So happy with both of them though. They were definitely worth the wait. They took a long time to be finished, but definitely worth the wait. Anyway, I'm gonna go now and see if I can put this one down. She's fallen fast asleep attached to me. Um, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.